The painting on this month's chronogram cover is Norman Rockwell's Golden Rule. To most Americans at the time it was painted, the familiar adage, do unto others, really meant do unto others who look like you. Rockwell challenged that hypocrisy and laid the truth of the other smack dab in the middle of America's coffee tables. Golden Rule appeared on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post on April 1st, 1961. The social and political climate was perfect for the big picture declaration of tolerance that Rockwell had been trying to make for decades. JFK had just been inaugurated, Amnesty International had just been organized, Saturday Evening Post finally agreed to let colored people appear on a cover. Norman Rockwell detested bigotry. Despite what seemed to be America's need to petrify him within a cult of innocence, the illustrator had been making small jabs against social injustice throughout his career. For instance, he placed a multi-ethnic group in the Four Freedoms poster commissioned by the U.S. government in 1943. Okay. In 1953, Rockwell began creating a tribute to the United Nations. The 10-foot mural displayed the world's peoples amassed behind UN delegates, quote, waiting for the delegates to straighten out the world so that they might live in peace and without fear, end quote. The Post accepted Do Unto Others as a cover concept, and the illustrator resurrected his Peoples of the World theme. But the models for Golden Rule were all local people, Rockwell's friends, acquaintances, or neighbors, a fact that reveals the panorama of others who were a part of Rockwell's life. David Gunn, Jr., the black man in the upper right corner, was the son of one of Rockwell's pipe-smoking buddies. The brown girl in the red shawl at the bottom center is Darlene Simon, niece to Michael Abdallah, Stockbridge's Lebanese grocer and a neighbor of Rockwell's. And the black boy in back of Darlene is Paul Adams. Paul, along with his sister Pauline, portrayed at the bottom left, sang in a family gospel group based in their hometown of Cambridge outside Saratoga. In Golden Rule, people are no longer waiting for world leaders to straighten out anything. Instead, Rockwell has each of us looking directly into the faces of all of us, young, old, black, white, brown, male, female. We are each the other, responsible to each other for the world we create. Or in the parlance of today, we are the 99%. Norman Rockwell understood that long before Zuccotti Park.